Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Informatica Cloud Secure Agent on Windows environment. As we discussed in the IACS architecture, Secure Agent is a lightweight self-upgrading program which is responsible for running the task in IACS. And Secure Agent can access all the databases and applications through the Secure Agent. And as Secure Agent runs on the machine inside the network, application data never gets staged on Informatica Cloud Server, keeping the data secure behind the firewall. Right now, let us see how to download Cloud Secure Agent on Windows. Login into the IACS with your username and password. You see create runtime environments here, right? So just click on it. We are going to cre create a runtime environment. So we are going to download a Secure Agent. So you see runtime environments here and you can also see the one runtime environment already present here which is called Informatica Cloud Hosted Agent. So this is maintained by Informatica and we need license for this, to use this, right? So that's the reason we are going for Secure Agent option. So you see Download Secure Agent here, right? So just click on this button. And you can see Platform as Windows 64 by default, right? So leave it as is and install token. This token, copy this token and save it somewhere in a notepad file like that. This we will be using while installing the secure agent. Click on download. And you can see cloud secure agent is downloading now. Once it is downloaded, go to the downloads location, right click the file, run as administrator. And you, can, you need to choose the installation folder here where your Informatica Cloud Security Agent has to be installed, right? I am choosing the default installation directory. Just click on Next. And you can see the disk space requirement here. Just click on Install. Once Cloud Secure Agent is installed, for the first time, it asks to register the Secure Agent. So for that, we need to provide the username and then installation token, which we copied while downloading the Secure Agent. So I copied it in my notepad. So I'll get it from here and put it here. Just click on register. So this is what we call it as Informatica Cloud Secure Agent Manager. Here, you can actually view the status of the Cloud Secure Agent. So you can see here, right? Secure Agent Core is running, not all services are ready. So from here, from the Secure Agent Manager, we can restart, restart the Secure Agent, we can stop it. We can also configure the proxy. This is one place, right? And another place is we can do this the same from the IACS as well. I'm going to show you that before that, Let's go into the installation directory of Cloud Secure Agent. So you see Informatica Cloud Secure Agent. This is the location we have chosen to install the Secure Agent. So inside it, you can see apps, downloads, right? So click on apps. You can see different services here under apps. And under downloads, we can see number of packages uh, being downloaded here, which are related to the services. Now let's go back to the UI, IACS. Right, and here we can see, just refresh this. You can refresh this page, administrator service page. And you see a new and runtime environment here, right? Mahesh desktop. So this is my desktop, my host name. So it says a secure agent has been installed in this machine is what it is saying. And you can see the status here. Not all the services are running. So just click on this secure agent and you can see more information here. Like what's the agent name on which platform it has been installed. What's the host name where the secure agent is installed. What's the status of the services running on that secure agent, right? 
so you can see agent service details as well this secure agent has different services under it so we can see here the status of all the services are coming up so they are starting up now it takes some time to uh, start all these services and we can see each service here data integration service uh, this service runs data integration jobs such as mapping tasks and task flows we can see mass ingestion service this is used to ingest large amounts of data and common integration components is the service that runs the commands specified in a command task step of a task flow OA data collector so it's an operational insights that collects operational data and domain related metadata and uploads it to the iics we have process server service which executes application integration process connectors and connections so these are the different services that comes under the secure agent so you can also refresh the status to view the latest status of this uh, services under secure agent so you can see common integration components uh, is up and running now so in the same way just wait for a few minutes all the services should come come up and running all right all the services are started and are running now right so you can also see agent service start or stop so you can select individual services here and we can stop and start the services here right so once the secure agent is up and running meaning like all the services under secure agent is up and running then we can go ahead and create the mappings and tasks and before that we need to create the connections so connections are like used uh, used to access the data from the data databases and applications so the first step to access data from the database or da database applications right so we need to create a connection so click on connections here on the left we can create a new connection and i wanted to create a flat file connection so i'll just give some flat file connection local and you can select the type as flat file runtime environment so we need to select the secure agent which is install so we install secure agent on mahesh desktop so i'm going to select it here like this and directory so where i wanted to access the files from so when i select browse here i'm trying to access the windows file system on the machine where i installed secure agent but read the error what it says the runtime environment cannot get the requested file system information the file system information might, might not be available because none of the agents in the runtime environment are running or because the secure agent service for windows is not running with administrator privileges so it gave two reasons why you are getting this error right so it could be one of the reasons could be none of the agents in the runtime environment are running but this is false so we just now saw that the runtime environment is up and running right so the second cause the secure agent service for windows is not running with administrator privileges so we need to go to the services and check if secure agent service is running with the admin privileges account or not so let's do that so for that click on windows key and type services or what you can do is go to run and type services.msc click ok in either cases it should open services window right so from here find the informatica cloud secure agent service so you can see here it is running right so if you double click on it and click on the logon tab you see by default local system account has been selected right so we need to click on this this account and provide a user which has the administrator privileges on this system where secure agent has been installed so if you are not sure of the username you can just click on browse select the username you can check the names and click on okay provide the administrator password the password for this user on this system confirm the password click on apply the new logon name will not take effect until you stop and restart the service so once we configure the admin privileges user account here so we need to restart the cloud secure agent that is what it says so we can click restart the service here or we can do it from the secure agent manager as well so i am doing it from the services itself restart let's go back to the ui and we can see runtime environments here do you want to save changes made to okay 
what we'll do is we'll just cancel it for now. We'll discard it. We'll go to the runtime environments. We can refresh the status and you can see we restarted the Informatica cloud security agent, right? So, okay, it stopped and it is getting started now. Again, like uh, we need, we can click on the secure agent and we can view the status of all these services. See, some are stopped and some already got restarted, right? So we just need to wait for some time for all these services, you know, to come up and running, right? All right, you can see all services are up and running now. So why did we actually restart the secure agent? So we are not able to access like secure agent is not able to access the file system on which it is installed. So we need access to the file system on which secure agent is installed as secure agent needs to write the logs. It should access the flat files as the source or it should actually write it into a flat file as a target for all these activities. Secure agent needs access to the files on the machine which it was installed, right? So in this case, on this Windows machine, it needs file system access and it didn't have that file system access. So that's the reason we added an account to the secure agent, which has the administrator privileges. And after that, we restarted the secure agent. And now we can see all the services are up and running. Now let's try to create the flat file connection again. So click, click on the connections on the left, new connection, give connection a name, select type as flat file, runtime environments as the secure agent machine and directory, you wanted to browse a directory in the file system on this Windows environment. Now you see, we are able to choose the any directory under this machine, right? So let me choose one directory. You can choose any directory here. So I'm just choosing C directory here. and click on OK. Select code page, any code page, and do a test connection. And you can see the test for this connection was successful, meaning Secure Agent is now able to access the file system on this machine. So in this video, we have seen how to download and install Secure Agent on Windows environment. That's all for this video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share it. Thanks for watching.